All right. Well, Vanessa brought me a basket of ornery kids. So this is our main mode of transportation back and forth to the kennel. And I know I see you. You're the ornery stinker. Are you the ornery stinker? Oh, you slipped. You can't climb out. Whoa, you <laughs> fell over backwards. Uh, so this is Nikki's kids. I know you're a pistol. Yeah, we're hoping. We did not bring a puppy pin up. All right, get the cat whack out of here. You are the ornery little fritter that won't stay anywhere. Lucky, I brought a toy. Vanessa brought you toys. Who is that? What is that? I know. There's toys. You want to come out here? I know it. I know. You're so excited. Set all these little critters up out here. You have people you can play with. Poor, this little guy's been around the block a few times. I know. Where are they going? I know. I know, I know. So, and yes, this one is still the, the most, like a social butterfly. Everybody else is like figuring out the world if they can be social. This one's leaving. So, oh, no, no, don't go visit Vanessa. Don't go visit Vanessa. This one says, I can't move. I can't move. It's so funny when they start realizing there's, see the shaking? He says, I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. They're so funny. They're out of their element. It's like, if I sneak away, nobody will know we're out here. I know. It says, oh, I think I can walk. I know you're just a stink pot. I know, what is that? That's the poor little puppy that's been around a long time. This one says, I'm scared to death to move. And you're thinking about it. Yeah, you're thinking about it. And this one says, I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Look over here. I'm going to put you back here. You need to talk to them. You need to tell them that the world is not a bad place. And they're good. It says, come on, guys. Let's go. What do you think? Can you climb up here? Can you climb up here? It says, I'm trying. So lean your feet up. There you go. What do you think? There you go. I see you. Oh, that one says, I'm leaving. And I haven't got caught yet, but I'm going to catch you. You're getting too far out. I can't reach you. Can't reach you. And you're just a pistol. Yeah, you're a pistol. And their tail's wagging. You really can't see it, but it's down here going, I think I can do this. See, I think I can. <laughs> this one's hiding under his belly. Yeah, you didn't tell me it was okay, did you? No, you were going to take... Oh, there, tail's going. See, the tail's going. What do you think? Your foot's a sliding out. There, can you get that foot under you? It says, I'm, I'm thinking. See this little tail back here? Just barely going, but it's going. That one's got hold of the, the pug's tail. Do you want to go down and see him? Huh? Do you want to go down there? Oh, this one says, this is, I'm not sure about this whole thing. No, I'm not sure about this whole thing. No, oh, this is, whoop, 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 whoop. Got a leg. <laughs> That's all I can reach. Ugh. This one, they're so funny. Yeah, we're going to bring guinea pig cage up here. <laughs> guinea pig cages are going to have to be part of the, part of the uh, equation up here, I'm afraid. There you go, tail's going. That's a good thing, we got that tail moving. It's sliding on the carpet. He doesn't have his sea legs under him yet. He says, this one says, I'm out of here. Now if I sneak down here and hold still, they won't know where I'm at. Yeah, where is that? The carpet's so slippery, they're sliding as they walk. This one can't keep its feet under him. All right. Anyway, let's get started. These are Nikki's kids. They are four weeks and six days old. I cannot believe that they're gonna be seven weeks old in a day. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. He says, oh, I like this. Ooh, there's my itchy spot. There's my itchy spot. This one's doing, this one's doing the scoot. She's, and you're just the mister. I'm watching and I'm learning. I'm not doing anything except watching. And this one is hiding his head under his belly. So we have all stages of comfortability out here. All 
Okay, let's get started. Um, so, of course, we're going to do t microchip numbers. And just in case this one disappears on me, let's do Miss Busybody first. Yep. Miss Busybody is 5606. Next week we will put their... Oh, you know what? We should have put collars on them today. Daggone it. Next week for sure we're going to put collars on. Because they're going to be here for a little bit. Let me see what we're at today on weight. All right. So we are... Two pounds on... That's two pounds and two ounces. No, two pounds, 0 0.2 ounces. Oh... Hold up here, give you a really good face shot. These guys are so cute. Oh my golly, they're just adorable. Great coats on these guys too. Awesome coats. Awesome coats. Huh. Yeah, I know. They've had their first puppy shot. They got their first puppy shot on the run their four week birthday. So they'll get their actual um, first regular shot in the series on their uh, six week birthday. So they're not too far from getting that, about another week and a day and they'll get their six week shot. All right, I'm not gonna bother this one because it's finally getting relaxed a little bit. I'm gonna take this one. Because this one's not scared, it's just sitting there watching to see what's going on. Yeah, see you're just watching. And we got microchip number 5613 and if you get six inches farther, I can't get you. Come back here. There you go, I'm enticing you back. 5613 is microchip number, and this is a little female, I'm pretty sure. So I'm a girl, I'm a girl. She's doing really good, really good. She's very calm, she's just watching what's going on. This one is going, if I don't look, it's really not happening to me. And you're about to go beyond the point of no return. Two pounds, 3.5 on this one. This one's tail is actually going. You just can't see it. I know it's your time to see it. No, can't see it. I get you. I get you. And this one says, I'm just tolerating it. I'm not doing anything, but I'm just tolerating all this attention. Yes, I know and I see your little butt. Yeah, I see your little buttski. Your little buttski is shaking. Yes, it is. Your tail's going. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Oh, they're so funny at this age. They really are. They're just, it's nice for you to be able to see the different personalities as they start to bloom. Because even though this one is like, I'm going to go back here and hide and they'll forget I'm here and maybe nobody will see me type personality. When they get about another week older, that's all going to change. And uh, when they're seven weeks old, it will be like crazy people. This one's going to lay on all the toys. What are you thinking, Munchkin? I'm not gonna drop you. You're okay. I'm not gonna drop you. I know. Color eyes have you got? Let me turn around here where I can see you. Oh, that's not gonna work. You don't like that. No, let me see you. I've got your feet. You're not gonna fall. I think you're gonna be green. I don't think you're gonna be blue. Even though you're a Merle, I don't think you're gonna be blue. No, I don't think so. 5612 is the microchip number on her. You know, the funny thing is too, a lot of times by the time we're all, of course not, this is the boy, not her, him. Um, a lot of times by the time we're done with the video, this one will probably be relaxed and start to play. This one may be coming just out of it a little bit. Um, there's always somebody in the, it's like kids. If you got four kids, you always have somebody that's quieter, but as they get older, they get not quieter. And it's the same way with puppies, see? Just because I'm scared, you got hair in your eyes. This is gonna really blow your brain. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop this out of your eye. It says, oh, what did you do to me? We did these to the other pup, or did this to the other puppies, and I think the girls scooped them, but there was a little bit in that one eye, in the eye, and I don't, I hate hair in their eyes. Let me see, oh, that's much better. Now we got a full face. I think this eye was just the one that had some hair in it. Yeah, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yeah, let's see what you weigh. You are, drum roll, one pound 13.2. All right. Are you better? You are a little better. You've kind of gotten not so frozen. Are you like a frozen little person? So now you're a little bit more relaxed and a little bit softer to touch. I know when I see you.
You're a good baby. You're a good baby. Yeah, you're good. This one says, I'm not moving. You set me down like that, I'm not going to move. All right, Missy. We have waited this long. Come on. I know. I picked you up. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yeah, we're not going to drop you. I promise. We're going to hold you to where you feel comfortable. We're going to hold your back feet because you think you're going to fall. Nope, you're not going to fall. There you go. Yep, yeah, there you go. Look at Vanessa. Are oh, you going to chew on my pants? You got teeth. Oh, yeah, there's incisors. I feel them incisors. Ooh, them's good, huh? She said those are sticking out. Yep, yeah, those are sticking out. All right, this one is 5614. And beautiful coat. Lots of curls coming already on this coat, too. Are you coming up? You and up? You got to learn to get that back end up. It says the back end's heavier than the front end. Whoop, down you go. All right, let's see what he weighs. I forgot we got two he's and two she's. The Merles are the he's and the girls are the she's. Whoop. One pound, 15 ounces. All right. Well, he's done really, really good. You want it back down? I'll set you right down there on the toys. How's that? What do you think? Tail's going again. <laughs> tail's going, but the body's going, I can't do this. But the tail's going. That's so funny. Um, so they're going to get introduced to a lot of things here. They've got, uh, they had a bath today. So we try and do that every single week. Um, Van uh, Vanessa was doing scooping faces and doing some ears on the other puppies, on the poodle puppies we have. And this little tail is going 90 mile an hour, but the body is just, huh, I'm out of it. And uh, are you gonna lay down now? That's very nice. And Brittany was washing puppies. So that's an every week occurrence around here. Mondays and Tuesdays, we try and get everybody bathed. And it's going to get worse than that as it goes on with the puppies we have coming. But um, it does make a huge difference in their attitude when they have a bath. The bath stimulates the brain. It gets them in, used to different textures. It gets them used to different light. My, my groom area is lit up with big LEDs so we can see really good. And, uh, you know, the warm and the cool water, the towel drying. Then they go in a dryer. And no, it's not a dryer that rolls and tumbles them. They have a, we have a crate, they all go in, and the dryer hooks on the door, and it blows them dry. It's a heated dryer. So um, I know they make dryers if you look for one for your home use. Be very careful when you buy a dryer if you're looking for one that you get one that does have heat. I'm sorry, I feel really bad for a groomer that uses no heat on their dog because these dogs have a temperature of 101 degrees and body temperature is their normal temps. Ours is only 98. So you can imagine getting out of your shower and somebody putting you in front of a 42 inch fan and turning that sucker on and you're going, just stand there till you dry. And uh, so that's how they have the same, you know, same body feelings, their nerves are there. They know when it's cold, they know when it's hot. They know when you brush them too hard. Um, they are very sensitive, whether it's personalities or skin, they're very sensitive and it's just like people. So. We try and treat them as much like people would be wanting to be treated and that I would want to be treated if I was a dog. So we make it as comfortable for them as we can. Um, so the bath every week, where it's, it's done in a non-detergent shampoo. We do not use sodium or um, detergent in our shampoos. We actually buy a brand called Puppy Tears. You can get it on Amazon Prime. I don't sell it anymore. And it's a, it's a pricey shampoo, but it's about $52 a gallon. And it will make you 52 gallons. It's a little bit more than that, actually. It's 60% concentrated. This one says, I'm going to see how far out I can go without getting in trouble. And um, I would not use it right out of the bottle. I would dilute it in a bottle of water. That way, um, in a quart of water, I maybe put an inch and a half of shampoo in and the rest all warm water and slowly mix it up because it is extremely sudsy. It will not tear or burn their eyes. So um, if you're looking for a shampoo before you get this puppy home, Puppy Tears is phenomenal. If you would have a flea problem down the road, they make a great flea shampoo also and it's called Dr. Fleas, F-L-E-Z. And um, it is not tearless, but it is extremely mild. It's very effective. 
and uh, I think it's 30 per, no, it's, it's even a higher concentrate. I think it's 60 or 70% concentrated, but you have to keep it out of their eyes. So uh, the puppy tear shampoo is non-tearing and you don't have to do anything. So see, she's the star of the show and we don't have to do anything except turn her loose with some toys and Vanessa's having a great time watching her. She has a big grin on her face while she does this. Come here, get this toy. This one rattles. Oh, listen. Yeah, that one rattles. What is that? Yeah. What is that? It says, wait, I just want to get to you. <laughs> all right. And no, we don't spoil these at all, do we? No, we don't spoil you at all. No. Every chance we get. Anyway. I hope you've enjoyed their pictures or their videos this morning. I can't wait to get them outside and let you watch them play. Um, they're coming. It's just, you know, when they're in a cubicle with their mom, and this is a whole new ball game. The acoustics are different in here. And then you have somebody like this little stink pot. She just is everybody's busybody. So, and then you go the other way. But, and there's everything in between. But they'll all end up like Miss Busybody. It just takes them a little bit to get going. And uh, all the new things that they go through. They're getting used to shop vacs. The girls clean the building with shop vacs. And they mop it out every day. We get new paper. They get new uh, carpets to lay on every couple days. Uh, they're eating free choice. They are eating dry dog food already. They've got great bellies on them. And uh, Nikki has been phenomenal with them. So I'm super excited about this litter with her. Can't wait to see the next litter out of her and Mickey and, um, or Casper. We have a new little teeny tiny white guy that's party factored and carries, he's actually a white chocolate, but, um, so we may try him next time. I think we weighed him today and he's about five months old and he weighs three pounds and something. Um, but we'll see. All right. Well, you guys have a great week. Have a blessed one and a safe one. And if you have any questions about these guys, please feel free to give us a call. And uh, we'll have new videos for you next week. Have a great one, and we'll talk to you later.